Greetings, IO. I'm Robert Danette. And I'm Kevin. Thank you for joining us today to hear about the latest features, news, and announcements from the Google Pay and Wallet teams. The past year has been full of exciting developments in the world of payments and digital valuables, and we've got a lot to share about all the ways we're working to make it easier than ever for you to bring helpful features built on the Google Pay and Google Wallet developer platforms to your users. So let's get started. Our goal for Google Pay is to provide simple, safe, and seamless payments for everyone, everywhere. We do this by working with an ecosystem of partners, from card networks to financial institutions, payment processors, customers, businesses, and of course, developers like you. Today, hundreds of millions of people use Google Pay to securely check out when shopping with their favorite retailers in more than 180 countries. Google Pay already facilitates payments via device-bound tokens that support secure and seamless transactions, both online and offline. We recently introduced support for Buy Now Pay Later with Affirm and Zip in the US. Industry studies have shown Buy Now Pay Later leads to better customer acquisition, conversion, and retention, helping to drive your business goals. Most importantly, Offering Buy Now Pay Later does not require any code changes. With just a few clicks in the Google Pay and Wallet console, you can begin surfacing Buy Now Pay Later as an option for your users. Regardless of form of payment, we are committed to providing you with the tools to help drive conversion for your business. At last year's I.O., we introduced the dynamic Google Pay button which displays the card network and last four digits for the customer's last used form of payment directly on the button. We have seen this context drive consistent conversion improvements with increases of up to 40% in the number of transactions. We are excited to announce that we are upgrading the button to include card art, providing a richer and more delightful experience for your users. Furthermore, we will be extending this dynamic experience to non-button UI implementations, providing important context everywhere Google Pay is offered. Expect these changes to begin rolling out in the US later this year. In payments, security is paramount to users' trust and to your business. It's our mission to help reduce fraud, and we're working on product updates specifically designed to support you with this. First, we continue to grow the number of verified forms of payments across the Google ecosystem. As a result, we've seen millions of new Google Pay and Google Wallet users add authenticated credentials to their accounts. This improves your checkout performance by providing out-of-the-box assistance with SCA compliance and increasing overall authorization rates. Second, Google Pay is introducing new ways to maximize conversion and minimize fraud. Our risk engine identifies high-risk transactions and triggers ownership verification at point of facilitation before the transaction is submitted. Finally, as announced last year, Google Pay offers merchants zero fraud liability for eligible transactions by leveraging the security capabilities of leading payment networks. We have broadened this benefit by rolling out merchant liability protection for eligible Visa online transactions using Google Pay. Enabling this protection is quick and easy in the Google Pay and Wallet console. And of course, we're always building new ways to make the experience of integrating with the Google Pay button better for you because we are committed to bringing you a safe, helpful payments platform with a great developer experience. I'm excited to share how the latest improvements to the Google Pay API can simplify your work. To enhance your development experience, Android Studio now offers a preview feature in the Jetpack Compose version of the Google Pay button. This feature allows you to effortlessly experiment with various button types, styles, and placements during development. 
and to improve the testing process, we are introducing support for DPANs in the test card suite. This addition complements the PSP test cards released last year, thereby offering a more comprehensive testing solution. Of course, not everything runs smoothly in software development. To help with this, you'll now see more descriptive error messages returned by the API. This will make it easier for you to understand and debug issues in your apps. Additionally, when making payments with Google Pay, your users will be better informed about transient errors that may occur during the payments process. Without developers like you, Google Pay wouldn't be where it is today. So thank you for continuing to work with us as we improve and grow the platform for you, for your users, and for merchants all over the world. And now, I'll turn it over to Kevin and Edson to tell you about the latest from the Google Wallet team. Thanks, Robert. All right, IO, let's talk Wallet. We introduced the Google Wallet API two years ago here at Google IO, and the response from the developer community has been incredible. Thanks to all of you, digital valuables have taken off all over the world, resulting in more than a 75% increase in the number of issued passes year over year in some verticals. With 16 new countries and territories in just the last year alone, we're now offering Google Wallet in over 80 countries, and we're just getting started. We want to give as many people as possible access to a secure digital wallet. That's why we're announcing that Google Wallet will soon be available in all major countries and territories. And we're very glad that as one of our next steps, we're making Google Wallet available in India for the following use cases. Boarding passes, event tickets, gift cards, loyalty cards, transit barcode tickets, and photos of documents with barcodes. Now, let's talk about the Google Wallet API. This year, we're working on making the Google Wallet API a more comprehensive, more convenient, and more approachable platform for offering digital valuables of all kinds to more users in more places. We're also focused on enabling you to do more with Google Wallet in conjunction with other Google products and services, because the Google experience is better when we work together to bring the magic of Google to you and your users. To provide your users more opportunities to leverage their digital credentials, Android is introducing an extension to the Android Credential Manager API to allow users to use digital credentials, such as government IDs, from Android Wallet apps, including Google Wallet. App developers will soon be able to securely verify users' details from their digital credential by requesting attributes like a user's age, legal name, legal address, and so on through the API. Since you'll be able to limit your request to only the info needed for your use case instead of the entire ID, privacy is built right in. Users will always review and need to authorize the action within the Wallet app before ID data is shared. As the API is built on Android Credential Manager, any app that contains digital credentials can supply them through the API. Meaning as a developer, you can receive credentials from whichever app a user chooses to store them with only a single integration. The API is currently in a closed alpha stage. Developers looking to pilot and test should indicate interest through the sign-up form available in the video description. We'll open up to more developers this year and plan to get to general availability in 2025. Using your passes stored in Google Wallet will now be easier than ever with expanded support for passes of all types on both Wear OS and Fitbit devices. This includes corporate badges, as well as passes like loyalty cards, boarding passes, and more, which you'll now be able to present using the Google Wallet app on your Wear OS and Fitbit devices. Google Wallet is a great engagement channel to connect with your users in new and unique ways. And we're bringing to you a novel way to engage with your users with auto-linked passes. This new feature of the Google Wallet API allows you to add an additional related pass automatically to your user's Google Wallet, provided they already have an existing pass issued by you. For example, event providers can push additional parking passes or vouchers for concessions, Merchants can push promotional offers, coupons, or gift cards to their loyal customers to increase brand affinity and drive more in-person visits to their stores. We're also expanding mobile push notifications for the Google Wallet API. Now you have more ways to notify your users about changes in their passes, offers, or other news. 
and you benefit from increased engagement and a way to ensure your users have up-to-date information. For example, when you send a new message to your users, they will receive a notification on their mobile device. By tapping on the message, they'll be directed to the back of their pass and will be able to read the message you sent them. Last year, we announced generic private passes, adding support for passes containing sensitive data. Over the past 12 months, users were able to add hundreds of thousands of digital items containing sensitive data, such as insurance cards, safely on Google Wallet. This year, we're adding more features to enhance your user's safe experience even further. The Generic Private Passes API now supports add and delete callbacks, manual updates, and more. We're constantly creating new ways for users to add digital assets to Google Wallet. Recently, we started surfacing boarding passes from Gmail in Google Wallet when users receive a confirmation email and have the relevant setting in Gmail turned on. And how can you make it possible for Google Wallet to do that? You just need to add special markups defined in microdata format to the email HTML. Google Wallet will parse this information to create the boarding pass for your user. If you look at the Gmail developer documentation, you'll be able to check the tags required for sending a boarding pass in the confirmation email. Google Wallet also integrates with Google Flights to provide your users with up-to-date departure time so that they will receive a reminder notification three hours before their flight. That's the Google Wallet way to say bon voyage. This feature is super convenient, but integrating and issuing passes directly with the Google Wallet API gives you more control and full access to the increasing number of features we continue to add. Now, I'll let Edson talk about developer experience. Thanks, Kevin. Hello, I.O. I'm Edson, and I'm super excited to talk about what we've been working on. As the Google Wallet API has evolved, we've heard your feedback. We're constantly working to make Google Wallet the place where your users can store everything they need, which means giving you the tools you need to build, and that means giving you tooling that supports your programming language of choice. That's why client libraries for the Google Wallet API are now available on GitHub and distributed through popular package distros like Maven, NPM, and more. These client libraries are generated directly from the public protobuffers for the Google Wallet API, so you can feel confident they are accurate and up-to-date with the latest functionality. We currently offer client libraries for Java, Python, PHP, .NET, JavaScript, Objective-C, Dart, Ruby, Node.js, and Go. Whoa, that's a lot. What's your favorite? Pick yours and give them a try to accelerate your developments. But what about Flutter, you ask? We've got that too. The official Google Wallet plugin is available on pub.dev, ready to help you add Google Wallet API functionality to your Flutter apps for Android. We also provide a button widget so you can easily place an Add to Google Wallet button to your app following the brand guidelines. And in addition to expanded language support, we're also releasing libraries to improve the integration experience for the popular Java application frameworks Spring and Quarkus. With these new libraries, adding support for the Google Wallet API in your Spring or Quarkus app is just a matter of adding a dependency to your project, adding a few lines of configuration, and you're ready to use it. We know that you're focused on providing the best possible experience to your users using Google Wallet. To do that, it's very helpful to gain greater insight about them by understanding their past usage and behaviors. For this reason, we're making metrics and analytics available directly in the Google Pay and Wallet console. When you click on the Analytics button from the Class Management tab of the console, you see the metrics for the selected class graphed over time. And now, let's talk about you. You've been on this journey with us, helping people all around the world digitize everything from their gym membership to their driver's license to their restaurant gift cards. But we know that so much more is possible. And we know this because we've seen you build it. The Generic Pass API, which gives you the flexibility to store just about anything non-sensitive for just about any use case in Google Wallet is particularly powerful. That's why we recently teamed up with the Flutter team for the Global Gamers Challenge, where we challenge developers to think of innovative ways to digitize assets and add them to their users' Google Wallet. 
while empowering them to come together and take actions for the environment. Many thanks to all of you who participated in the challenge. We received 185 entries from more than 3,500 developers across 57 different countries. And we're truly impressed by the variety, creativity, and technical skill represented in all the Flutter apps submitted for the challenge. We encourage you to take a look at the winners of the Global Gamers Challenge and check the amazing things they were able to create. Have comments or questions about what you've learned today? Get in touch with us at, at @googlepaydevs on x.com, formerly Twitter. For additional information, the resource links and more can be found in the video's description below. It's been a great year for Google Pay and Google Wallet, with significant improvements to both platforms for developers and users with much more to come. So whether you build payment services or digital IDs, retail websites or loyalty programs, or anything in between, we hope you found something to get excited about today. Something that you'll use to build more with the Google Wallet and Google Pay APIs. Have a great IO, everyone, and thank you so much for watching.